If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai, and yes, I'm an award-winning scientist, teacher, lecturer, and a football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. Uh, this is a combined call with my private Discord group and also uh, to my YouTube uh, audience. So just a quick look at market. Uh, the fear and greed index is at 57, which is basically neutral. Uh, the way I do my buys and sells is I always buy and uh, uh, and hold when the free fear and uh, fear and uh, greed index is is below neutral, and I usually sell when the fear and greed index is very very high. Bitcoin uh, pretty strong support at uh, thirty thousand. Ethereum is not looking as strong. BNB obviously because of all the regulatory reasons. Uh, I think uh, if things don't go well, and especially the FUD around big executives resigning, especially in the compliance uh, department. Uh, sorry for BNB fans, but I've done a little bit of charting here. BNB, if things don't go well, I'm looking at $50 to $60 BNB coin. However, uh, FUD can evaporate in crypto pretty quick. Uh, I don't think CZ is uh, not honest. I don't think CZ uh, will let this happen. Uh, is great and, and, and fingers crossed. I have a big bag of BNB. So I really hope that what I'm just prophesizing here is not uh, true. XRP, again, really depends on the case. Uh, depends if, if the case goes in its favor or, or not. If it goes in favor, we are looking at three to $4 XRP. And if it doesn't go to the favor, then the Ripple Labs will go to Supreme Court and this is gonna continue between 30 cents to uh, 50 cents uh, range. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, the the two biggest positions I have uh, are, are, are DOT in my portfolio and my private Discord knows this. The other uh, is, is Adam, both at really, really attractive prices here. Uh, anything below 10 for Adam is sensational. Uh, Polkadot, anything below uh, seven or eight dollars is pretty sensational. So that's a quick uh, overview of the markets. Let's just have a quick look at the news. Obviously, the biggest news has been that the BlackRock, uh, BlackRock ETF is gathering momentum. ICC said it's not adequate. However, BlackRock then uh, filed again, basically naming Coinbase as their surveillance uh, partner. Now, the problem here is, I think it's going to be sell the news event. I think this BlackRock news is already priced in. I think BlackRock has already accumulated enough Bitcoin. I think BlackRock is gonna dump on you. So I would say be very, very careful uh, with what the mainstream media is pushing, what these crypto YouTubers are uh, pushing. I do think in the long run, this is really bullish. I do feel that there is a lot of FOMO among the institutes, really, really. Vanguard went in, Fidelity went in, and, and you don't even know many, many hedge funds in the world that actually follow BlackRock. If the big daddy does it, they will do it as well. Many family houses will do it as well. So my uh, Bitcoin target, uh, not financial advice, uh, I have been saying to my private Discord that June 2025 is the time when I will sell my Bitcoin. I think the price will be in excess of 200K at that point. Well, I might be wrong. Okay, in other bit of news, um, there was a hack in, uh, in one of the DeFi protocols called Poly Network. I think XX of 100 million uh, was stolen. So it's very, very important to understand what is a DeFi circuit breaker. It basically means that after a certain amount, uh, the, the blockchain will stop. And one of the investments we have made as a DAO is Stripe protocol, which has this circuit breaker. So if there is a hack happens, uh, the whole protocol users will only lose few million, not hundreds and thousands of millions. Um, uh, another big uh, positive news for Ethereum is the proto dank sharding. But if people think that will reduce gas fees on Ethereum, that is uh, false. Uh, proto dank sharding is only going to help the layer twos. So things like Arbitrum, ZK Sync, and then many, many other uh, Polygon, they will benefit not the Ethereum uh, community itself. Okay. So those are the main news and my views. What I'm gonna talk now is Alpha. So as a DAO, Cosmos DAO, we have been very, very heavy into uh, Injective, for example, which is a, a DAX on Cosmos. So I'm trying to find what could be equivalent DAX 
on my other biggest holdings, which are Polkadot. So the 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 DEX here is called Polkadex. So PDEX, why I have selected it, I'll, I'll explain to you in a re, in, in a minute. But consider it as possibly it will be one of the flagship DEXs on Polkadot. The reason because the Axiom protocol is is live now. What is Axiom protocol? You can think about IBC, which is Inter Blockchain Communication Protocol, where all the Cosmos chains can talk to each other. Similarly, on Polkadot, there is Axiom protocol in which all the parachains, in fact, actually PDEX won the 16th parachain auction on DOT. So they will be an independent uh, blockchain on DOT. So uh, price action wise, uh, PDEX, uh, all time high was around 230, but let's uh, I think that might be just a wick. So let's say 25. So we are looking at 20 to uh, 25X in the next bull run if it hits all time uh, high. It is very, very innovative DEX. So everything happens on chain. Uh, so you know the Uniswap AMM protocol where you deposit liquidity, people uh, trade against that liquidity. This is not the case. This is wallet to wallet. The biggest innovation here is I can trade with anyone with any decentralized uh, wallet. So basically everything that is available on centralized exchanges is will now be available on a decentralized exchange, which is PDEX in context of Polkadot ecosystem. Now, why I am so bullish? First of all, uh, where to buy? Uh, so I have my PDEX on KuCoin, but you can also get it on Gate.io and others. So all time here, uh, high here is 230, this says. All time low is 98 cents. We are pretty close and bottomed out uh, at that price. So I, I do feel this is a good buy at these prices. So the max is 20 million. So I, I do have a small bag of this. So just full disclosure here. So circulating supply is 8.3 million, which is 40% approximately. So max supply, which is 20 million, which is not huge. Fully diluted market cap is 23 million. I think folks, this might hit 1 billion market cap next bull run. Not financial advice, of course, um, but I would say this is the new alpha. Uh, for our group, private group, and this is also new alpha for the YouTube uh, audience. Okay, just going forward a little bit, we recently bought Neutron. We bought it around 18 cents. Uh, we have doubled our position. It has come down uh, from 48 cents of all time high, and it is coming down steadily, but there is very little apps which have been launched on it. It is a smart contract platform. Uh, Juno used to be the biggest smart contract platform on Cosmos, but I think Neutron is going to kick ass, pardon my French, just because I, I just think the backing there is just sensational. So Binance Labs has invested in it. Lido, which is one of the biggest liquid staking uh, protocol on Ethereum, is going to launch on Neutron as well. Plus Pulsar, which is another finance uh, app, is coming on Neutron. So I think we are at very, very early days. Even if it drops to 18 cents back, uh, we have no issues holding as a doubt. Another uh, position that we are really, really big is, is Stride, which is again, liquid staking protocol on Cosmos. I think liquid staking protocol is the next na narrative for the next bull run. We had AI narrative uh, not that long ago. We had gaming narrative before the AI narrative. Things pumped 50X, 100X, in crypto, nothing makes sense. In crypto, narratives and marketing. Those are the two main things. So I think the next bull run, the start of the bull run, there will be liquid staking uh, derivatives uh, narrative. And I think uh, we are at very, very right uh, position because of neutron position and because of the stride position. I am concerned uh, for stride because they moved to, they will be moving, I think on July 19th as basically Cosmos Hub where uh, the Cosmos Hub will secure the Stride blockchain, not the Stride token. So there is a bit of a redundancy here. I've been trying to raise this among the Discord that in a way, actually, you don't need Stride token when you have Atom token. I am concerned uh, about the price of the token, but let's see. Uh, it's, it's okay to be concerned. The One of the biggest uh, tools you guys can use to study uh, various crypto projects, especially in DeFi sector, is called DeFi Llama. So I've just put Polkadot here, as you guys all know, I think everyone knows, 42% of my position is Cosmos, 42% is, is DOT. And if you go to DeFi Llama, you can see that the Moon, Moonbeam, Akala, and Parallel uh, Finance, they are the biggest uh, total value blockchains. So these are the three projects for your next bull run. Uh, pretty easy. Don't need to invest in others. 
obviously the 10x, 20x, 30x, 50x will be here, uh, which which I am researching. PDX might be one of them. But again, uh, for next bull run, you don't need big narratives. Just look at the strongest performing uh, protocols on a particular chain. Just buy the top ones. Similarly, uh, this is on Arbitrum now. Uh, similar to Polkadot, you can see GMS, GMX, uh, Radiant is interesting one. You can actually click on the link and then you can study uh, that particular protocol, what is total value locked. You can visit their websites, their Twitter accounts. So yeah, it is a really, really powerful um, uh, website. So please start using it. Uh, another uh, protocol we bought recently for our DAO was QSR, small amount, tiny, tiny amount. I think 2% of our portfolio. Uh, the big VCs bought at seven cents. We bought at three cents. I think it's around two cents, sitting at two cents at the moment. But the, basically, what uh, QSR or Quasar, uh, whatever, sorry if I pronounce this wrong, does is it will have a vault. So rather than us, let's, for example, the DAO is investing in various projects, these vaults will do the work for you and basically then uh, distribute the yield to you. I think it's pretty innovative. I think it's pretty uh, exciting, but again, it takes time. We are at the ground floor. I have big uh, hopes for this protocol. Another one, pretty exciting one is Nolas. And the reason why I bought this uh, token for our DAO was because I have not seen that you can buy three times your assets. Well, not buy, sorry, lease. So let's say if I have 10 atoms, I can actually borrow 30 uh, atom for that 10 atom and then use that uh, to in, in for the DeFi protocols. I think there is an issue here, which I don't like is, is the smart contract is still controlled by Nolus protocol, but I think there will be a lot of money flowing into uh, Cosmos because of these. Because once people, oh my goodness, we can three times our money and use that money to earn yield without the risk of liquidation. Uh, I think that will be absolutely amazing. Do I have anything else? No. So that brings uh, the end to this uh, YouTube video and also uh, my bit of speaking uh, to my private Discord members. Uh, nothing in this is financial advice. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, and yeah, uh, AMA session is now open for next 10 minutes. All right, folks, over to you. Ask me anything. So this Polka Docs you're saying, Polka Deck, sorry. You, ex you expect, you hope for it to go to 1 billion from 9 uh, million market cap? I think it's around 25 million. Ah, okay. Um, so, yeah, so okay. fully circulating. Yeah, I get it. Now, how many X is that will be? I don't uh, think in that terms. PDX is uh, basically injective of Polkadot. Okay. Well, I'm more interested in the liquid staking and how you said it's more beneficial to have ST tokens than the normal tokens. But I'm not too much into DeFi, as you know. So... What's, how is this liquid staking working, basically? Yeah, so great question, uh, George. So let's let's start from the basics. Mm -hmm. The way financial infrastructure works is records. Record keeping is one of the most expensive things in finance. So you have order books, you have databases. So the way blockchain works with any financial uh, ecosystem, you need Oracle, Oracle fetch you price. So let's say there is a bank, uh, Bank of America talks to uh, Bank of England. They are changing dollars, they are changing pounds. They need correct pricing. So the way you do it is via Oracles. Similarly, um, in the blockchain side, you need correct price. So that's done by Oracles. You need correct ledger correct records which wallet has exactly what amount so all that record keeping is done by the validators and the delegators so people who secure the blockchain so uh, let's say for for example for ethereum you need 32 eat uh, similarly for adam there is certain amount of adam so those guys secure the blockchain but the problem is you need the tokens to stake so if you're staking uh, those tokens those tokens get locked there is no use for those tokens. Liquid staking uh, solves that problem. It will make those staked tokens liquid. So now, for example, if I stake Atom with Stride, those Atom are used to secure all of this, secure the oracles, secure the price, secure the data, but they will give you as a receipt 
okay george or pankaj holds 100 st tokens then you can take those 100 st tokens into various DeFi protocols you can use them uh, whatever way you want so that is basics it is very complicated at high level but at the smaller level uh, that is what and with Ethereum, but then again uh, is it when you're staking this for uh, for the st atoms for example do you still need to give away your your coins no you if you sell the st atom then your coins are gone but if you uh, let's say for example let's say for this dow we staked 100 atom with stride we got i think 95 st atoms uh, because that atom is also uh, accruing st atom is also accruing the staking rewards remember that so it's always st atom is always going to be expensive than atom because it also contains your staking rewards now i have a receipt that actually i hold 100 atoms i can then go on osmosis and show my proof on the blockchain that i actually hold this so i'm going to use this in DeFi protocols i'm going to lend those st atoms to someone else so it actually it is leverage it's not on uh -huh. steroids it's not on steroids if you keep doing this again and again and again let's say if i deposit that st atom now on lotus the new protocol let's say if they start um uh, taking st atom as collateral now i can borrow three times yeah so i can get three times more atom and keep repeating this but the problem is if the price drops you will be liquidated like crazy oh got it okay. yeah yeah so it's basically a kind of leverage but 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 but, but we're not gonna do like we're not gonna be on steroids for the DAO, we play safe. We will just do stride and just do the uh, ST Adam Adam or ST Osmo Osmo because there is no risk of impermanent loss. That's a topic for another. In, in liquid staking, there's no impermanent loss, is it? Of course, there will be uh, impermanent loss if, let's say, if you took ST Adam and then you combined it with USDC and let's say Adam price uh, drops then the balance of that pool you has to adjust so your price of st atom and then if st atom drops usd value will drop to maintain one is to one so oh. there is impermanent loss there so the the best thing to do is st atom and atom got it mm. because if atom goes up st atom price goes up if atom goes down st atom price goes down so the risk of impermanent loss is very well. Hence, for the DAO, majority of the positions are ST Atom and Atom, ST Injective and Injective. I can't mm -hmm. risk. I can't risk your money. Simple. I can risk mine. Like I, I, I am a proper degen, as you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I don't do it with the the DAO money. Okay. Yeah. But uh, is it at the moment only on? Uh... On Cosmos, this liquid staking or other? Oh, no, 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 no. Biggest is Ethereum. Far. Lido. Lido. So, so Lido Finance. Lido is the main liquid staking. Oh, it's crazy. The I think it's one of the top protocols in crypto at the moment. The, the beauty about my knowledge here, George, is I've seen what Lido can do. And I'm now trying to pick. I might be wrong. You know, it might go to zero. But I think things like Stride, Persistence, uh, even Molas, they can actually be the like our 10x, 100x uh, opportunity for next bull run. So I am applying the same principles of Ethereum to Cost and Polkadot as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Uh, Lido, by the way, is coming to Neutron. Read, oh, okay. the, read the articles. I have rumors that the Lido team is actually behind the Neutron team. Actually, it's the Lido guys. The reason why I didn't sell when you asked me to sell, George, is because Lido team is behind Neutron team. If this is true, Neutron does half of what Lido did. We we, we already have 1,600 tokens as free. Just Even because. Lido. Lido is a 2022 token. It's not that old. They yeah. launched They launched Le after Le the bull run. Le so this, is not, this was not bull run exposed. Liquid staking is a new, new trend. And all the YouTubers at the moment are AI focused, um, gaming focused. Very few are liquid staking focused. 
what I'm trying to say, I might be wrong, but I think the next narrative is like staking and we are a year ahead of everyone. I think. Mm. Might be wrong, but those but are don't you think this liquid staking is a bit too complicated for retail to uh, like understand? Yeah, I think so, to be honest. It's, it's, it's too complicated. Yeah, it's, too, it's complicated. too complicated. I mean, if it's too complicated, they'll say, oh, might as well just yeah. buy something, you know, easy meme yeah. coin. Yeah, I yeah. wouldn't play with it, to be honest. I don't know. Yeah, why. yeah. So, so the thing is, what we are doing is we are not front running retail. Retail are fucking stupid. Retail are retail tards. They don't have huge amount of money. The moves are made by institutes. Institutions love liquid staking. And we will front run institutions. If you want to compete with retail, yeah, I agree with both of you. Go buy meme coins. I want to compete with institutions. I want to beat them. So I think liquid mm -hmm. staking. Also, um, people, blockchain, no one knows. Yeah. It's very few. It's not easy. What I'm doing with Astroport, with Neutron, even you guys might be scratching your head some days. That's, that's why we are not even like touching it. No, no, big, no but yeah. it takes years and years and years of hard work and losing money. <laughs> yeah, true. So, uh, But then again, this, this liquid staking isn't part of the DeFi narrative. Oh, it is a massive. Again, George. We are front running everyone. It's massive. I'm telling you. If you, if you, uh, so the reason why I post every single detail is I'm trying to also educate you guys so that you start dabbling a little bit. Play with $10, $20, $30. Learn it. Learn before the retail yeah. learns. Retail will learn pretty quick. Don't you worry. Next bull yeah, when I first heard about Bitcoin back in like 2013, 2014, I did not understand. So I did not even take it seriously. So it's better to learn than to uh, say, oh, I should have, I should have in the future. Yeah. So, so I would say now is your time. Oh, we, we, okay, guys, last two questions, one each, fire away. Then we finish this. Akala's price in Esboran. It will do well. I, 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 I'm not in the business of price prediction, but it will do very well, George. Hesse joins when the meeting is about to end. Classic. I was just watching F1, sorry, Doc. Huh? Just half an hour. I've just been watching F1. F1 is more important. I oh, completely God. forgot. <laughs> it's Silverstone. Evmos, talk to me a bit about Evmos. What's happening? Why is he not? Why George, is he not doing something? George, you you had your one question finished. Ah, Let's on, on ask next one. <laughs> okay, I'll yeah, so, Wait, wait, Pankaj. <laughs> wait, Pankaj. Uh, George, the the Evmos uh, tokenomics 2.0 is coming. Um, it is it is a protocol that works. It's just they are so stupid. Um, as much as I hate to say this, they the I had a talk with the CEO on Twitter Spaces. He didn't listen because they had so much money at that point. They were egoistic. They did not listen to me. I predicted all of this in that Twitter Spaces. I said, guys, with this high um, APR, it's gonna tank. They didn't listen. Anyways, but I do think they will recover. All right, Pankaj has a question. Okay. I have one question. This will be a little exciting. Um, suppose you have thousand dollars. This is a very retail question. Okay, you have thousand dollars. You will not buy Bitcoin or Ethereum. How will? Uh, what are your like? Let's say top five, six coins for next bull run. That's a great question. No Bitcoin, no Ethereum. No Bitcoin, Please. no Ethereum. So I've been only buying Bitcoin mostly. I've been buying a little bit of ETH, but ETC beat is not giving me any confidence. I think Ethereum will... They are like, um, every cycle they give diminishing returns. So I will be really surprised if Bitcoin does 10x, like super surprised. Oh, it's easy. 10x for Bitcoin is easy. There is not much supply on exchanges, Pankaj. 
um yeah but but okay let me let's let's yeah. that's a topic for another yeah. day we can debate this another day because we have very few minutes left uh, i do want to answer your question so let yeah. me think so we coming to lister or not no george i don't want you to drive so much and then I sleep mean, on the highway somewhere it's not funny i really want yeah. to first there we go no but it's just you and pankaj if you really oh. guys really really want then okay i will do it let's do it um pankaj you want to come no it's okay what we'll do is, the thing is my wife's birthday is on 6th so george, i don't want to george let's let me let me for a change respect some scientists let me go out with them okay yeah okay okay uh, yeah, let's, let's come back to the question uh, we can talk about this some other day no private shit here no btc <laughs> no it and top 5 6 coins so so number one is as much as i hate to say this um atom number two is dot and that's the reason why i have them so much uh in my account and then you need to look at the the ecosystem below so let's start with dot uh, akala moonbeam uh, parallel finance pdex let's start with cosmos um i think under cosmos i would say neutron is the baby uh things like noble evmos i i still believe um injective i would say injective put it top um i think injective will beat btc uh in in returns the reason is i've just posted in the discord um 150 million by pantera jump crypto mark cuban then 40 million uh by someone else um every day they are making crazy amount of money so the way injective works it's multi chain so let's say binance needs to fulfill an institutional order they go to injective they grab the liquidity from there kucoin they grab the liquidity from injective all the cosmos chains they are integrated with injective what um, so so think about it as um, and then there are so many projects that are building on top that will need injective so burn is is part of them uh, i just think anything below 10 george i know you you missed it at 2 dollars um but anything below 10 my target for injective is 200 so yeah put injective number 3 so atom dot injective akala moonbeam that's 5 5 okay perfect thank you okay. let has a speak can moonbeam do an injective Mm, moonbeam there are so many protocols building on moonbeam there is a chance of course there is a chance i'm lately seeing a lot of moonbeam ads on like twitter especially moonbeam is is building they're building it's is a really great protocol i have made countless videos previously on moonbeam akala and others and it's again dot dot is my speciality and i love moonbeam i love akala i love <laughs> the 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 smaller protocols moonbeam will do 2 to 10x but the protocols building on moonbeam have a chance to do 100x but i will not allocate more than let's say if i have 1000 dollars in box i will only give 100 to moonbeam to uh, and the parachains are finished now we cannot take dot to get the parachains uh, like you have there will always be auctions it it comes in cycles So you mm. need to stay uh, tuned on that, okay? Probably in bull markets they will have more parachains. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hesse, do you have any questions? No, I was just I was happy with the top five. Um, you thought Doc? That was probably what I would have probably asked you to be honest. Yeah. Okay. All right, folks. Then let's stop this, and I'll see you in Discord. Okay. Stay as always, like boys. But um, next time I'll catch up. See you later, George. See you later, Jay. Thank you, boys. Adios.